y'all is it is it blurry is it is it blurry y'all Ooh, is it blurry y'all Sorry, I, need, I put my ring on, ringer on now because I'm a dependable human. I just went thrifting, so if there's a ton of clothes in the bag, that's why. I just did like a TikTok on my haul. <laughs> if you're into that, you can follow my TikTok, but I rarely post. But if you're into that, follow me. So you saw the title of this video. I'm trying to improve my vocabulary because I recently got a comment on, I think it was my trying to style my clothes video because out of all my videos that I've noticed my vocabulary being bad, that one was the worst. So this person, they're also, don't send hate to this person, this person did nothing wrong. Um, my vocabulary is bad. I think we all know this by now. My vocabulary is not good. It consists of like three words. This person said, not a bad video overall. However, you should really improve your lexicon. Girl, I don't even know how to say that word. Anyways, if I'm being honest, good video though. Okay, so first of all, lexicon or whatever. The, I don't even know how to- Lexicon. 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 Why are you using big words like they? Okay, my vocabulary is bad. But just say vocabulary. <laughs> like The meaning of lexicon is the vocabulary of a person, language, or a branch of knowledge. So yeah, he is correct at the end of the day. Sorry if I shitty on you a little bit for your usage of the word lexicon because your vocabulary is so great. No, I'm kidding. But thank you for the comment because it has been pissing me off recently when I film and then edit and then I have to re-watch me using the same word over and over and over again. So thank you for bringing it to my attention because now I'm trying to take it serious. This video is going to be a talk down, sit down video. If you're not into that, you can skip. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I really don't care. I want to explain why I think my vocabulary is so bad because I like to have excuses for why I shouldn't take responsibility for my actions. Number one, my lack of social interaction. If you guys don't know, I haven't worked with like people in a long, 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 long time. I've been working from home. Uh, I also don't go to school. I just, I did school for one year, had to drop out because I couldn't afford it and it was community college. Isn't that sad? Couldn't afford school, so I'm not in school, not working with people. I don't have friends. Let's make that very fucking clear. I have no friends. I have a boyfriend and a friend, an online friend, so I really don't practice speaking nor am I learning any new words. Uh, my boyfriend uses words. Do I listen sometimes? No. No, I don't, but I should, but I mean, that's, that's what it is. Hold on, I'm, I'm so thirsty. Sorry, I just came home, so it's like, oh, that's excuse number one. Excuse number two, I noticed that I stopped watching YouTube. I know that's wild. I, we're in a digital age, okay? So I have stopped watching like long YouTube videos. I also haven't been reading. So that I think plays a big part in my vocabulary. So number three is that I haven't been doing anything new. I recently started to implement myself going into trying new hobbies, doing new things because of this issue because the way I speak is very bad. <laughs> I'm trying to improve myself in a lot of aspects and I think vocabula vocabulary is one of them because my speaking is very clearly underdeveloped so i found three methods to help me or three methods or three like tips to help me with vocabulary so one of the one vocabulary exercises i wanted to do was to watch an old video of mine and try to replace words that i used and find a new word to replace them with but i know what words i use and i don't like watching my old videos regardless if it was like a day old i feel like once it's posted i don't watch it anymore because it, it makes me cringe that person's not me today it's not in that video i remember saying the word slay a e it y'all i think those are the five words i used the most in that video y'all can repla be replaced by guys everyone <laughs> Sorry, it's stupid. Slay. This... Slay can re be replaced by... Amazing. Elegant. Beautiful. Spectacular. We love adjectives. Okay, E. This... This looks good. This... Outfit... Is what I'm trying to convey. See, I know, I know English. It. This is it. I always said this is it. Is this it? Is this the outfit we are trying to convey? Styling. Loki, let's fuck this exercise, bro. I'm like, I'm already like proficient. I don't even have to review the video, bro. I know. I know. I ate that. I know. I devoured that 
exercise. I know that I completely advanced to the next level in that exercise there. You're welcome. The exercise that I thought would help me the most was to find a book and then write all the words that I couldn't figure out in that book or understand in that book. So as you guys know, if you watch my recent video of what's in my bag 2024, I don't think it's uploaded right now by the time I'm recording this. Um, cause today is Monday, August 19th and I think it comes up the 20th. But in that video, I was currently reading Ferocious Sharks. So yeah, you guys know that I'm wearing a right- I'm reading children books because I'm trying to not only improve my vocabulary, I'm trying to improve my attention span. So, I actually ended up reading Ferocious- Ferocious so God damn. Ferocious sharks okay i read it front and back to the point where i was even considering that sharks was spelled wrong i wrote down some words that i didn't know from the book also i learned low-key out of all the books i've read this is like the book that I, I i learned the most from like i now know what sharks are dangerous and which sharks are not i actually had a dream the night i read it that see the fucking visionary no but this book bro this book okay i'm gonna tell you the, the dream real quick because i'm scared this video is gonna be super long because i'm gonna talk about it but i'm gonna talk about it okay first of all y'all need to know tiger sharks are not to be messed with if you see a tiger shark you fucking you're dead you're dead don't even try tiger sharks will eat you will eat you up and even the great white i think it it likes to taste but it doesn't it wouldn't like yeah at first it takes a quick bite and if it likes to taste it the it, com it comes back for the rest that's what it says so yeah the great white isn't that serious in comparison to the tiger shark okay let me tell you about my dream so what the last <laughs> Okay, the night that I read this book, I had a dream. If you guys ever see my backyard, I have like a- we have a rabbit pen. And that whole area was water, okay? It was water. It was deep, deep water. The fence is still there, okay? So I had a dream that I was on a raft with my boyfriend and three kids because these three kids wanted to go fishing. And I was like, yo, let's go fishing. It was kind of later. And then I was like, oh, like, the fish aren't biting because it's pretty late. They like, they only come in the morning. So these kids were kind of sad. All of a sudden, a fish pops up. It's dead, recently dead, in the corner. So one of the kids, it was like a little blonde boy, he swims to go get the fish and he comes back. He's like, look, I caught a fish. I was like, okay, so late. Okay, adequate. So he catches the fish. He's like, okay, great. And then later, another fish pops up in the same exact spot. That's when the light bulb came on. I was like, where are these fish coming from? And why are they dying? I go over with the raft. Oh, fucking shark. Dude, it was a fucking shark, man. It was a fucking shark. Let me tell you what shark it was. It was the fucking, it was the bull shark. It was the bull shark. It was the bull shark. Okay, it was bull shark. Okay, the bull shark is dangerous. It's, it's the world's most dangerous shark. It lives close to the coast and often attacks people swimming or waddling in water muddy water that's the shark i saw i would have never known that anyway so once i thought i saw that shark i told those kids get the fuck on the raft and then i was trying to like get them to like i was trying to throw them over the fence and then my boyfriend i i don't know how i threw him over the fence you know me and then it was my turn and for some reason it was a fence and then above it so there's this like opening and above it was like an umbrella and i was like oh my fucking god if i jump and i hit the umbrella i'm going straight in the water so i was like i can't do that or i'm done because the bull shark is gonna get me so i jumped i hit the umbrella i went straight in the water and then i hopped really quick and then i got out of the water and i, I was saved you're welcome you're welcome anyways let's get back to the point my vocabulary <laughs> i wrote down the words i didn't know and now i know kind of not really first word is dude i don't even know how to pronounce it it's called crusta ocean i'll put it right here you are about pronouncing it crustacean you do want to stress on the second that's wild that i said crusta ocean it's crustacean is an animal with a tough outer shell most crustaceans including lobsters crabs shrimp live in water so i'm pretty sure it's just like any like shit with a shell and then we have i'm just gonna put all the words that i don't know right here Okay. If you- okay, I've heard these words before. Like, I wouldn't know how to define them if someone asked. Does that make sense? Like, I want to be able to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, thank you, Ferocious Sharks. It actually doesn't say an author. That is wild. Does it? Published by Brown Bear Books Limited. But who wrote it? Okay, the designer was Joanne Little, Jeff Ward, and Paul Meyerskoff. 
Editor was Tom Jackson, managing editor was Tim Harris, creative director was Jenny Child, and children's publisher was Anne O'Dolly. Editorial director was Lindsay Lowe. But the one word, so I don't make this video long, so I can like explain to you. This is the dorsal fin. Okay. The like, the sh the fucking, the tooth on the top of the shark. That's the dorsal fin. It helps the shark balance. That's what I learned. So then I saw a TikTok. I'll link the TikTok in the description as well. Where he said, don't say the word like unless it's needed in the sentence. Ever since he said that, I've been trying my best to think before I speak because that is an issue that I deal with because I get myself in trouble a lot because be because I don't think before I speak as well as removing the word like for my sentences because it does make you sound stupid. It does. I'll be so fucking honest. It makes you sound dumb because you don't know what you want to say. Like is a filler word, um is a filler word, uh is a filler word, and I use them all and I sound stupid. And that guy probably commented because I sounded stupid. So now I do not say the word like. Well, if I do, it's in moderation. This video was just dedicated to that person so they think I'm serious because I am. I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm trying to get better discipline. Oh. Dude, I worked out triceps. I did the little like, let me show you guys. This is the ADHD. I did like this and then you go, I can't do it, it hurts so bad. This video was dedicated to that dude that commented, thank you, but also like, are you proud of me? Like low key, I would love a comment telling me that you are proud. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a great day. Also, if you haven't seen my community post, I would suggest checking it out because I am trying to post twice a week. If the videos seem really bad quality and you feel like it's kind of forced, if it's kind of forced or kind of like half ass, please let me know so I only post once a week. But if you feel like, you like you're like you liking the content with two videos per week, let me know, please. Also, please comment if you want to see anything. The videos I'm making have no substance. And I've been seeing the people who are watching my videos are in their 30s and are male. I am not 30, nor am I a dude. So I have no idea what y'all want to see. Also, I'm confused why half of y'all are male, or more than half of y'all, more than half of y'all are male. I'm not lying about this. Let me show. The majority people are between the ages of 25 and 34. Look at how big the spike is, first of all. 60% are male. And 39.1% are female. I don't know what y'all want, so let me know. Please. Because I'm not making videos of substance, and I know that's a waste of your time. So, please let me know. I could do anything, as long as it's free. If it's, if it costs money, it might take like a year or two for me to do that. Even if it costs like a couple cents, I still... Yeah, I, got, I went thrifting with money I don't have. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out my community post. And don't follow my socials. I don't have it. So if you DM me or anything, I will not see it for like a long fucking time. Just a heads up. But yeah, have a great day.